In this video, I'm going to discuss the probability of picking six numbers in the lottery and not getting any number correct or losing at the lottery. I hate to be David Downer, but anyway. So imagine there's 49 numbers in the lottery. What we're looking for is what's the probability of getting all the red numbers and no green numbers? We're going to pick lottery numbers without replacement. And I'll walk you through the probability of that. So the probability of not picked, not a green number, is the total red numbers, the total not picked, out of the total numbers, which is equal to 43 out of 49 possible. There are six green numbers, or six numbers that you chose, and 43 plus 6 is 49 as well. So the probability of getting some number, or one of these, red or green, is 100%. We just pick a random number. Let's pick um, 10. That works right there. So the probability of the next number not picked, or being a red one, is total not picked out of the total numbers and it's important to realize it's the left total left numbers which is 42 numbers 42 red balls out of a total of 48 balls so let me pick another ball out of the pile there there it is right there and I'll do this again I'm gonna do it again four more times so you get the hang of it. So it's the total not picked, or the red balls, out of the total numbers left, which is equal to 41 red balls left out of a total of 47 balls left. Total numbers or total balls. Another example is, another one, is total not picked out of total numbers. Again, we're going to drop it down to 40. Only have 40 red balls left if you counted them up out of a possible 46. Just to be clear, there's 40 red balls left. And there's 46 total balls left. And I'll make that a brown line and make 46 brown as well so you'll see. Now, I'll pick a number out of there. The good old number 7. What's the probability of the next ball being not green, total not picked, or red ball? It's going to be the total left of the red out of the total, which is 39 out of 45. And I'll pick a ball. There we go. Number 30. So my next one is going to be total not picked, total left of the red balls out of the total number of balls is going to be, and you're probably getting the hang of it by now, 38 out of 44. Now I take all these ratios and I multiply them times each other. So I have 43 out of 49 times 42 out of 48 times and so on and so forth. This gives me a numerator of 4.3 billion and some change. And a denominator of 10 billion, some change also. This is equal to 0.436 or one out of every 2.29 times you play the lottery. You'll get no numbers correct. In other words, not having any balls picked there is a 1 out of 2.29 chance. The odds of winning the lottery is 1 out of 13.9 million chances. Not very good. I feel like David Downer here. You'll more likely get nothing right than all right. So share the knowledge. Tell your fellow students. Like us on Facebook, Google Plus, or Twitter. Questions and comments below. And remember to subscribe. I'm always posting new material. 
And again, not to be David Downer, but this video has been about getting them all wrong.